So, I told you about Atlas, the meanest raider to ever wander this world. And how he fell for Hope, a beautiful raider from a rival gang that didn't give two shits about him. Now, like I said, Atlas, he was used to getting his way. So we gathered up a big old army of raiders, marched right up to the town where Hope's gang, the Junkers, was all holed up, and demanded she come out and talk to him. Hope, headstrong as she was, very politely yelled over the wall and told Atlas exactly where he could shove his intentions. I hear she launched that golden Brahmin right back over the wall at him too. Atlas, as you might imagine, didn't take too kindly to being disrespected. But in his own special crazy-ass way, he found himself wanting hope even more. He was in a bind now, you see. He couldn't let her insults stand, but he wasn't ready to just up and storm the town and risk killing hope in the process. In my opinion, folks, ain't no relationship worth this kind of trouble. I'm just being honest with you. Anyway, so Atlas calls out a few of his lieutenants talks to them all quiet for a few minutes. Then these poor saps march right out in front of the wall surrounding the town, and I swear to you, they set themselves on fire right then and there. Over the screaming, Atlas yells that if he can convince these good men to set fire to themselves, imagine what he can convince the other couple hundred men to do to their town. Personally, I'd find that a pretty convincing argument, but hope she ain't backing down. She yells that Atlas can set himself on fire. That'd get him about as far as anything. Now I tell you, when Atlas hears this, he gets angry beyond all reason. And he slams those giant fists down on the ground. As the story goes, windows shattered in Diamond City. And a whole section of Lexington comes crashing down just from the shock of it. Hope and her gang wake up the next morning and find their town the only thing still standing as far as the eye can see. Atlas says it's the last threat he's going to make before he storms their gates. And honestly, between us, this whole thing has already gone way off the rails. Now Hope, she's a good woman, a raider through and through. But she takes care of her own. She knows there ain't no way her little gang can stand up to Atlas and his army. And so she knows what she's got to do. The white flag goes up, and Hope herself walks right out the front gate. Says if Atlas gives his word that her gang is safe, she'll go free. Only, he's got a shake on it. Atlas, proud man that he is, takes her up on that offer. And it's not until he's shaking her hand that he hears the beeping. Clever woman that she was, Hope went and strapped herself up with more than a couple of mini-nukes. <laughs> she knew what she was about. Now, I am told that on that day, the sun might as well not even have come up, for all the good it did next to the brightness of that explosion. Men hundreds of miles away went blind. Birds dropped out of the sky for days after. And for as big and as tough as he was, they ain't never found all of that list. Like I said at the top, true story. All of it. Is there a moral in all of this? Hell if I know.